Hey, what's up? This is Kushpu with another question of surface areas and volumes. This is question 6 from exercise 30.7, page 233 from NCRT. Say the volume of a right circular cone is 9856 cm3. So, volume is given and diameter of base is given. We have to find the height of the cone. So, first part. This is volume of formula हमारे पास होता है 1 upon 3 pi r square h अगर कोण की बात हो रही है तो and volume हमारे पास है 9 8 pi x is equal to 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 previous हमें find करना है diameter of base हमें करना है so diameter is equal to 28 so radius is diameter by 2 that means 14 centimeter so radius can be right of 14 into 14. We have to find the height. So 7 ones are 7 twos are. Now 9 8 5 6 into e 3 up by 22 into 20 into 2 into 14 is equal to h. So 11 twos are 11 eights are 88, which are 10. So this is 11 nines are. This is 11 nines are. This is 105. 105 minus 99 is 6. 11 is 6. So 2 fours are, 2 fours are, 2 eights are. 2 twos are, 2 twos are, 2 fours are. 2 sevens are, 2 ones are, 2 ones are, 2 twos are. 7 ones are 7, 7 is 6. Are. So height is, height is 48 centimeters. Because 16 threes are is 48, so 48 centimeters is the height. Second case, maybe he's asking for slant height. Slant height means if this is a cone, so, we need this thing. So, slant height formula is L is equal to h square plus r square. So, h from our class is defined here 48 square plus radius is 14 square. So, L will be equal to 48 square. That means 64 is 32, 38. The same thing. 4 is 32, 16. 19, this is 4, 2, 3, 0, 4. 2, 3, 0, 4 plus 1, 9, 6. So L will be equal to 2, 3, 0, 4 plus 1, 9, 6. 2,500. This is 2,500. 2,500 ko maize lik sakne 15 multiply by 15. 50 multiplied by 50, so dono mein se pehli ho kar ek bar aega, so that means L is 50 centimeters. This is the slant height. Third part mein curved surface area nga aana hai mein So curved surface area of cone is equal to pi r L. So pi ki value humare paas hai 22 by 7, radius is 14 and slant height is 50. So 7 ones are 7 twos are 50 twos are is 100 into 22 that means 2200 centimeters square. So this is the curved surface area. So this was question number 6 from exercise 13.7. In case you have doubt, please do write to us and do watch the next video for some more questions. Goodbye.